So here we have my roller top one on banded. I've got it set on a ten pound jackpot on maximum uh, percentage. I can't remember off the top of my head what it's set. On. bit tight right, so I'm going to show you inside the uh, mechanism area this is the uh, we got to the machine MPU4 game cartridge is there the audio and uh, battery of fly wide that down to there. We just gotta make a little box for it, keep it away from the board. Um, and obviously, the transformer should be one of them green label transformer for low voltage because the hopper on this is uh, 12 volts, not 24. Um, if you've got the other one, sometimes people buy the wrong transformers for these machines and it causes burnouts on the uh, decals. So just bear that in mind. Um, I'm going to show you inside this area now. It'll just take me a few minutes just to take the top off so you can show it you properly. So I'm just going to switch off and uh, get into there. Bear with me. Because I've took the back off, uh, the machine just resets itself, and then hopper. And you got a plug there. So if you just want to remove it for security reasons, you can take the hopper out completely with all the coins. So you haven't got to keep dumping your coins all the time. I don't leave any money in the machine when I'm not using it. So there you go, that's that, and then coin mix up there, which you can't really see from there, but I'll just uh, take the top off so you can see that. Just bear with me. Yeah, so it's actually an LS6, so I thought it was an LS5, but that's the coin mix, it's a little square box. Um, what you see there, that's the whole of the mech. Um, to release it, you just press this lever in, and the whole thing just gets out. A bit like a an S10 coin mech. I think it's similar sort of locator logs there, and then you got your your ribbon, ribbon cable there at the bottom. And that's all it is. And here you've got your coin separator. Basically, what happens there when you put your coins in? This moves slightly from one area to another and then diverts the coins either into the hopper in this case 10 pence just go into the hopper and then all the other coins are dumped straight down there but that actually moves and it's not connected to the coin mech at all um, obviously if you haven't got that at all on your machine that's a problem I don't know how you're going to sort that out without that um, you could probably play the machine in free play I'll just put that back in there It clicks back in and then locate the lugs and just push it straight back in, that locks into place. Then the machine you can play it with the top off um, things like the same because it's um it's in sort of in test mode at the moment now. Um it came with that as when when I bought it it came with that. Um they're supposed to flash, but they don't. Don't do nothing. So that's your mech. If that's what you've got missing in your machine, I do have a, I do have a spare one of these. 
um, and it doesn't work. I don't. I've tested it on, in this machine. It don't take any coins, so I can't say whether it's faulty or not. I'd let you have it if I knew it was working. You could have it, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to get rid of it because it doesn't work. There's no power going to it for some reason, so the board could be faulty. I've got, also got a spare, complete spare top. I've got, I've got one of those. I think I've got a spare one of these, complete one of them, and a complete front as well. No real, uh, I don't think there's any real glass with it. Reasonable condition. Just the spare parts, and I've also got a, a spare hopper as well, one of these, complete here in it. Um, MPU forward, I've got a I've got quite a few of those spares. You need to keep a few spares because they keep breaking down all the time. I'm on, you know, they decide in a damp, damp environment. They're not going to last five minutes, really, but it is what it is. That's it. I hope that helps you. I'll take a few pictures of the um, the book as well that I've got with it and uh, see if you can see what you need off that. Okay. Thanks for watching. Thing that goes about this machine is that. Um, it's on wheels, so you can easily move it. But if you open the door, that metal handle there. If you unscrew this, <laughs> unscrew that there. You can then turn this machine and spin it all the way around. So that the handle will actually go that way. The machine will then twist round, and then the back of the machine will be facing you. You can take the door off, but do any maintenance without having to move the machine if it's in a a tight area so you can pretty much work on it without having to move it which is a good feature of this machine yeah so this is the this is the coin mech that I bought as a spare and it doesn't work I've tested it can't get it to work There's no way of testing it out of the machine because I've no idea what to do with it um, but it could be that it's not for UK currency, it might have been a European machine that came out of originally. Although it says UK on there, it might not actually be set up for UK coins. Um, but that's what you need if yours is missing, RS6. They do do a modern version of that now. If you look on Ascoin website, um, you can still get these. But they don't look the same, they look they're grey. But as long as everything works the same, and you obviously program it, you can actually program. You can actually program these in the machine without um, without one of those devices. Um, the only thing is that you can only use. You can only program two coins. Look at the moment, this takes all coins. You don't take the new pound coin, and it doesn't take the later ten p's with the metal changed in them. But it does still take ten p's, the older type with a line on. Uh, and it takes all the other coins, including 2p's, if you have it on 2p play. Uh, I've got it set at ten pen. I haven't got a decal for it, but I'm not bothered about that. It doesn't bother me. I might put it back to eight pen because it's a bit tight, to be honest. They don't tend to win the jackpot very often. Um, I'll uh, see if I can find the book so you can have a look and see how you do the, the switches.